My name is Carrie Cottle and welcome to Read Aloud with Ms. Cottle. Today we are reading Jamie is Jamie, a book about being yourself and playing your way. Enjoy. Jamie is Jamie, a book about being yourself and playing your way by Asana Moradian, illustrated by Maria Bogade. Published by Free Spirit Publishing. Jamie had just moved to a new home and neighborhood. There was so much to do, unpack boxes of toys and clothes and explore the yard outside. Most of all, Jamie was excited to start school and make new friends. At school the next day, Jamie joined the other kids in free play. A group of boys were racing cars on the floor. Jamie noticed that the back wheels had popped off one of the cars. A boy named Joey was having trouble putting them back on. Can I help? asked Jamie. Are you strong enough? replied Joey. Jamie picked up the wheels, pushed them back into place, and vroomed the car back over to Joey. Wow, thanks, said Joey. Next, Jamie saw a girl looking in the mirror and posing. What are you doing? asked Jamie. I'm a ballerina, explained Alicia. I am practicing ballet. Can I try? wondered Jamie. You have to wear a leotard, a frilly tutu, tights, and special dance shoes to pirouette like this. Jamie watched as Alicia twirled around. Then Jamie did a perfect pirouette in pants and sneakers. Alicia was surprised. Jamie heard a baby doll crying and went to see what was wrong. Cynthia was having trouble. I can't get her to stop crying. Jamie held up the baby doll's head while she drank and gently patted her back until she burped. You did that just like my mommy, Cynthia said. Next, Jamie went over to a boy playing alone with action figures. Can I play? asked Jamie. Are you a boy? Only boys can play with action figures, replied Xavier. I'm Jamie, answered Jamie, picking up a superhero figure. We're being attacked by a giant purple harger monger. Xavier grabbed two superhero figures and fought off the villain with Jamie. For the rest of free play, Jamie joined a pair of girls doing somersaults, told jokes to some kids until they fell on the floor laughing, finished a dinosaur puzzle with a couple of boys, and played chef in the toy kitchen. Jamie's mommy was the first parent to arrive at pickup time. Leaving the classroom, Jamie waved goodbye to the other kids. Alicia said, Jamie is so graceful. She should be a ballerina one day. What? Jamie is a boy, replied Joey. He fixed my car so fast, he's going to be a mechanic. Cynthia said, Jamie is a great mommy. She knew just how to take care of my baby doll. Xavier was confused. Wait a minute, is Jamie a boy or a girl? I don't know, said Alicia, but I can't wait to play with Jamie tomorrow. That was a lot of fun. The next day during free play at school, Jamie decided to do some drawing. Nearby, Joey said, Cynthia, your baby looks cold. Let me help you put a sweater on her. Jamie watched as Joey and Cynthia took care of the baby doll together.
Then Jamie noticed Alicia using the action figures to teach Xavier different ballet positions. They both made the action figures dance to fight the villain. Jamie, come play action figures with us, said Xavier. Sure. Jamie crouched down next to them and whispered, what's the plan? And Jamie was happy because everyone was playing exactly what they wanted to play. I want to show this tips for teachers, parents, and caregivers. I'm not going to read all of it, but I do want to read what's in the opening paragraph and then the bold headings. As adults, we want to teach children about the world around them and help them learn appropriate and positive behavior. However, children thrive when given time to think and act for themselves. Through play, children learn how to interact with one another, work together, resolve conflicts, and become social beings. Here are some tips to make playtime learning time. Let children play freely. If you'd like to read this paragraph, go ahead and pause it and read for yourself. Keep in mind that toys have no gender. Let children try to work out their differences on their own. Provide children with creative playing materials. Talk with children about play. And here is an about the author and about the illustrator section. That was Jamie is Jamie. I love this book. <laughs> I love this book in so many ways. I love that Jamie has a self-confidence in themselves and the support of a community, including family, to truly say, I'm Jamie. I love that the other children in Jamie's class get to expand what they understand about gender identity, about gender expression, and about playing and being friends. These kids mostly just want to play. They want to have fun. They want to connect. They're trying to define themselves and understand others, but then they realize that maybe they need to shift their perspective on what it means to be a girl or a boy or just a kid, right? You know, here's the thing. There's a lot of people in the world who need to learn new things about lots of things, including gender, gender identity, gender expression. We have a lot to learn from each other be open to learning and focus on playing, on connecting, on having fun. Take care of each other. <laughs>